record. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Kit, and in this video, I'm going to test out 4K video on the Asus ZenBook UX305. So someone recently asked me on YouTube uh, how well this thing runs on 4K. And the deal is that with 4K video, it's not going to run that well on YouTube. So if you're going to try to run a 4K video on YouTube, don't even do it. It's bad. It's not going to work. But what you could do is you could download that video and you could use a software called MPCHC. So I'm going to look it up here. MPC or Media Media Player Classic. That's what, what it's called. And it'll play 4K video just fine. So here I have the video. Uh, let's do properties, details to show you that's 4K 3840 by 2160 at 29 frames per second. So I'm going to run this baby up. And as you can see, it's running pretty well. Alright, and to show drop frames, I could actually do view statistics and you'll see the number of frames oops number of drop frames on bottom so right now it's saying zero which means that it's not skipping any frames which is a good thing all right so while this is running I'm gonna try to do stuff on the desktop and it's gonna start getting like kind of laggy ish I'm gonna open up open up Chrome and actually, let's see how much um, how much CPU or memory it's using right now as it's playing 4K. So I wrote, right clicked, Task Manager, it's loading up slowly because the video is taking up most of the processes. So it's taking up 53%. Uh, only, but only 300 uh, megabytes of the memory out of the eight eight gigs, which is not that bad. CPU's running 1.10 gigahertz right now. Here's the video again. All right, still running pretty good. Oh, now what is happening? So I'm, so. After I loaded up Chrome, it's starting to spike a lot now. So let's see what closing Chrome does. All right, so cl so closing Chrome makes the video uh, much better, much more smoother. So yeah, and I'm gonna close this off first. When you're playing 4K video, don't expect to multitask while you're doing so, um, because pretty much everything else you're gonna be doing is going to be either laggy or buggy or slow alright and now um, so I know that most people use this player called VLC player so I'm gonna try try running uh, the video with VLC player so let's see what happens Alright, so as you can see, uh, currently it's running on VLC, and this is the type of stuff that you would expect to see on YouTube, except YouTube is much worse. Okay, so right now, uh, you see that VLC is not re rendering the frames that well, it's buggy, it's dropping a lot of frames, it's, yeah, it stops on it on its own. So overall, with VLC, you're not going to be able to, to play uh, 4K video. But with um, MPCHC or Me Media Player Classic, uh, you'll play it just fine. So, and then and then I started wondering, at what point could VLC still play the video, but the video would still be higher than 1080p? So I. I downloaded the video again and I downloaded it in 1440p alright so let's see how VLC will run this video 
And of course, M uh, MPCHC will run this just fine because it's actually lower than uh, the 4K 4K format. So I think it'll be okay if I don't test that. So let's do VLC on 1440. All right, so it's playing much better. It's playing much more uh, smoothly. It's not dropping as much frames, or from what I could tell. All right, let's skip this here. Yeah, so so still a little stuttering, still still a little stuttering here and there. But overall, uh, if you play 1440p video, I, I don't know. You might as well just use MBC HC for both of them, for both resolutions because for, uh, VLC will drop frame drop frames and it'll stutter. And yeah. That's basically it for this video. If you like it, like it. If you have any more questions about the Asus Zenbook or you want me to test something out with it, comment in the comments and peace out.